And we move to Benue State, where the government has disclosed plans to construct two flyover bridges in Makodi, the state capital. The governor's spokesperson, Tusukula, says the state exco has directed the Ministry of Works, Housing and Urban Development to carry out a feasibility study. My Walkwater has more details on this. Good road networks reduce travel time, improves travel speeds, and it's beneficial for local enterprises and the local economy. To enjoy these benefits, the Benue State Government has revealed its plan to construct two overpasses which are proposed to be constructed at the Wuruku and I level roundabout. The state's executive council has also given approval for the construction of other key rural roads. Now the Minister of Works should work the modalities for award of a contract for, a, for the construction of that flyover at the Wurukum roundabout. ESCO also approved to create a similar one at high level roundabout. Additionally, the ESCO, according to the Chief Press Secretary, agreed with the establishment of the Benue Public Service Institute to serve as a training center for civil servants in the state. This, according to the ESCO, is to improve the deliverability of the civil servants and for optimal performance. The intention is to train all men from junior to the highest category. For over 30 years, some civil servants have not stepped out for a course. It has become necessary to establish an institute where they will go for training, where they will, they will write exams, pass and qualify to be promoted. They commended the Vice President, Kashim Shetima, over the recent visits to the state to launch the first expanded national micro, small and medium enterprises clinic. A move, they say, has already started yielding results with the fashion of sets to be established in the states within three months.